hi guys welcome back to my channel so for this video we are going to be creating this beautiful romantic sparkly pink look i absolutely love how this look turned out and i had so much fun playing with this beautiful palette and in case you did not know the palette that i am talking about is the brand new huda beauty mercury retrograde i mean just look at this palette you guys wow this is the first item of huda beauty that i own i just could not pass it i had to purchase it because the colors were so beautiful they really caught my attention so the first color that i'm going to jump into is momentum it's a very pale color almost skin toned and i just wanted to apply this to my crease so that it can uh whenever i applied my transition shade it'll apply very seamlessly so next i am picking up the shade crash which is kind of a muted pink i want to say um, and I am applying this directly into my crease as my transition shade and also a little bit above my crease So I'm really enjoying Creating these videos because it's so simple and so easy for me um, to do and edit and Because I really don't just I really don't do my face makeup. I just do my eyes and it's super easy for me to do these videos. I feel like I'm getting more videos out and I'm really enjoying it. So I am applying the same shade Crash on the lower lid. The next shade I am going to pick up is Karma. Now this has a little bit more pink to it. It's still pretty muted, but it has a little bit more pink to it than the Crash color that I applied as a transition shade. And it's so beautiful. These shades are so pigmented. I absolutely love them. Again, I know the Huda Beauty products are are amazing or so I've heard, but this is really the first thing that I have purchased from her. And I'm in love with it. I am in love. So I'm just going ahead and applying this as the second shade in my crease. And I'm just blending away. The next shade I am going to jump into is the shade Hot Mess, and I am applying this on the outer third of my eye. I do want to create kind of like a cat eye effect, so I am going to bring this out a little bit and give it kind of a wing, for lack of a better word. Well, yeah, it's a wing. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and just pack this on and blend it out, pack it on and blend it out until I achieve the color that I want. I always like to start light and kind of work my way up by just packing color on and blending out, packing it on and blending out until I get the intensity that I want. As you can see, I just keep packing it on. I wanna show you guys the whole process so like that you can kind of appreciate how long it takes to do these things because sometimes people think, oh, you know, it's a quick process, but it really isn't. You really do have to take your time and pack on and blend, pack on and blend. I know I'm not the best blender in the world. I don't think that I have the blending game down packed yet. But, you know, again, you're never going to learn unless you practice and you make a couple of mistakes. That's the way you get better. So since I love makeup, I practice it every single day. 
and it's something that I really, really enjoy. Also, the tools that you use are very, very important as well. So the next shade that I'm going to pick up is Supernova. This is a beautiful shimmery, sh um, shimmery pink shade. It's absolutely stunning, this shade. So at first I applied it with my finger and I kept going back, as you can see, I kept going back between the finger and the brush. This brush is the colored rain brush, which is a beautiful brush for shimmer shades. I believe it really does apply shimmer shades very well. But I kept going back and forth between my finger and that brush just to, you know, really pack that color on because I know that the finger as well is a very good tool to use for these type of shades. On the inner eye, the inner third of the eye, I am picking up the Shimmer Shade Galaxy. Wow, I love how this turned out. These three colors complement each other so well. Of course, they're on the pink color range, you know, so they're very similar, but the transition from the dark pink to the very light pink on the inner corner is absolutely beautiful. These shades are so stunning, I can't get over it. I went into the lower lash line and I picked up Hot Mess just to deepen the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then on the inner corner of the lower lash line, I'm applying the shade Karma, just to kind of give it a little transition effect as well. Once again, just picking up that beautiful blending brush from Smith Cosmetics and just I'm blending away. Now I'm picking up this red pencil. It has kind of like a pinkish tone to it and I'm applying that to my waterline and I really love the effect that it gave the look. I felt like it brought the look together. And this is the finished eyeshadow look. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and then I'm gonna come back in with the shade Vortex and just kind of deepening the lower lash line just a little bit more with this detail brush from Morphe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mascara to my lower lash line. On the inner corner, I am going to apply the shade Super Moon, which is a very light, very glittery color. I brought it onto the lid just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Samantha Lashes by Huda Beauty, of course. Let's just do the whole thing now that we're at it. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and if you're really enjoying these eyeshadow tutorials let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear your thoughts on this bye